Hi everyone! On this episode of Doing the Most, we're going to make homemade mayonnaise. If you didn't know, making mayonnaise at home is actually pretty simple. It requires just a few ingredients, which are two large egg yolks, four teaspoons of some kind of acid, we used fresh lemon juice but you could use vinegar if you wanted, a quarter teaspoon of Dijon mustard, an eighth teaspoon of sugar, which we actually omitted, so you can add sugar if you'd like, but we skipped it, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and three quarter cups of um, some kind of oil. Again, what kind of oil is up to you? We chose to use canola oil, but we're actually looking to see if there's a better oil for us. Most of the time, at least from my opinion, you want to use a pretty neutral oil that doesn't have a lot of flavor that it contributes to the mayonnaise. Um, some people choose to use olive oil because they believe it's a healthier option. That's that's totally fine and up to you, but keep in mind that if you do use olive oil, there are actually some bitter flavor compounds that are usually masked by um, fatty acids surrounding the oil um, or surrounding those flavor compounds in the oil. And when you disperse it within your emulsion, those flavor compounds become more present. Another note is that we chose to use uh, duck eggs instead of chicken eggs, partly because we had duck eggs on hand and partly because duck eggs are one bigger, but um, two, a little bit higher in fat and a little bit higher in protein than chicken eggs. And so we thought that would be a really nice compliment for our mayonnaise, um, especially given that the protein in the egg yolk is actually what emulsifies your mayonnaise. So we figured that the duck eggs would do a slightly better job. We haven't actually compared um, head to head, and so that's probably a project we'll take on in the future. The first step in your mayonnaise is actually to separate your yolks from your whites. Um, that's because, like I said before, the yolks are actually what contains the, the emulsifying agent, the protein in the yolks. If you leave your whites in, you can. It'll just mean you have a little bit runnier mayonnaise because the whites have a higher water content. Once you've separated your yolks, you're gonna go ahead and put them into your food processor. Now add your lemon juice or vinegar, your salt. If you were going to add sugar, this is when you would add your sugar in and your mustard and combine all of these pieces. Um, I may have already mentioned, but you add mustard in because it's also an emulsifying agent. So you combine all of your ingredients minus your oil in your food processor until they are well combined. And then you turn it back on and slowly drizzle your oil into the mixture. Um, and this part's really where the magic happens and is, is really cool because right in front of you, your mayonnaise will form. Now it is important to slowly drizzle the oil in. If you do it too quickly, it won't emulsify. You might want to open it up and scrape the sides a few times just to make sure that you're, you're thoroughly combining all of your ingredients and mix it up a few more times and then you should have mayonnaise. Then add it to whatever kind of container you want to use. We chose to use this odd jar that was actually a honey jar, um, so it's not a standard jar by any means and frankly it was actually kind of difficult to get it in there. That's one of the disadvantages of a very thick emulsified mayonnaise is that it uh, is difficult to move to your next container. I debated whether or not the canning funnel was actually necessary, but we went with it. And once it's all in there, it's done. You can enjoy it. It's not very pretty from this angle, but it was really delicious. Theoretically, you can keep it up in the fridge uh, for up to five days. We actually kept ours a little bit longer and I didn't notice anything wrong with it, but be conscientious that there are raw eggs in here and so you do want to use it quickly. And that's how we make homemade mayonnaise. Thanks for stopping in.